Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to Mosul Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali, and now we are to talk about courage. Courage known as an admirable personal trait that provides benefits for people personally, socially, mentally, and spiritually, and is a characteristic that informs and strengthens all other traits. Courage should definitely be present within believing Muslim individualities. Now one might ask, what exactly is courage? Courage is defined as the mental and emotional preparedness and ability to deal with difficult, challenging and sometimes seemingly impossible circumstances. It is the ability to confront fear, pain, danger, uncertainty, intimidation and other threats. It is one of the traits that one cannot be born with. Instead, it is one that needs to be developed and can cultivate it and honed. Although the definition of the term courage may be the same, there is, however, a difference depending on the type of courage one is referring to. There are two types of courage, each with different characteristics that differentiate them from each other. Moral courage and physical courage are the two types of courage that exist in today's world and play a major role in decisions we take every single day. The most prominent of the two and one that Islam focused on the most is moral courage. Moral courage is defined as doing the right thing even at the risk of inconvenience, radical punishment or even loss of social status. It requires one to make judgment about what actions or behaviours are supportive of one's highest ideals and which ones are destructive. It assists individuals to recognise responsibilities and see the consequences of the actions one part takes every day. This is a very important aspect in the religion of Islam and should be present within the individuality of each believing Muslim. Courage ideally should come out of love, respect and fear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the sincerity one has towards the Creator persuades them to do what is right and stand firm against what is wrong. Those who possess this type of courage have adopted the manners taught by the Holy Quran and are always striving to persuade others to do the same. These individuals do not remain silent in the face of evil acts committed and take on full responsibility of opposing what is wrong no matter what the outcome may be. These characteristics of moral courage mentioned like many other positive virtues are seen to be within the individuality of all the prophets, members of the Ahlul Bayt and the Allah's messengers, peace be upon them. This is mentioned in the Holy Quranic verse. Prophets are those who conveyed Allah's message and feared Him, fearing no one except Allah. Allah suffices as a reckoner. Surah Al Ahzab, verse 39. This holy verse is stating that because the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to spread the holy message, they were faced with many obstacles. However, the only thing they feared was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not the unbelievers in their communities, no matter how great a threat they were. One of the greatest and most powerful example of moral courage history has ever witnessed was the courage Sayyidah Zainab salam, possessed and revealed after the day of Ashura. When the women and children as well as Imam Zain al-Abideen who was very ill at the time were taken as captives to Kufa to the palace of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, Sayyidah Zainab salam, held a powerful position and said a powerful sermon that has remained as a symbol for moral courage and will continue to remain. When the members of the Ahlul Bayt السلام, were presented in front of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, Sayyidah Zainab السلام, and Imam Zain al-Abideen bravely stood before him with the rest of the women and children behind them. Ubaidullah himself even mentioned, I have never seen a woman stand so bravely and confidently before, especially after her family has been brutally killed before her eyes. At these moments, Sayyidah Zainab's heart was 
filled with moral courage and she did not fear anybody nor anything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as she exposed the terrorism that had been committed towards her holy family. When asked who this woman speaking was, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad was informed that this was Zainab السلام, the daughter of Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, known for her bravery, eloquence and patience in which all was inherited from her father. Upon recognizing whom was speaking with, Abaydullah decided to reveal the joy he felt as he thought he was victorious over the Imam السلام, and said, How did you find the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala treated your brother and your family? At this point, however, Abaydullah did not know he was speaking to the perfect embodiment of courage and eloquence as Sayyidah Zainab السلام, said, I have seen nothing but beauty. They rushed toward their graves with honor. But know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge between you and them and he will call you to account. So be worried about the winner at that day, either it will be you or them. This powerful stand led to the revealing the true face of terrorism and revealed what moral courage truly is. By speaking this way, there was a large risk for Sayyidah Zainab السلام, to lose her life. However, she preserved through all of this and continued to fight against the enemies. Through her bravery, eloquence and firm stand, Sayyidah Zainab السلام, revealed who Imam Hussein السلام, truly is and awakened and enlightened the hearts of people at that time. Sayyidah Zainab's life was always laden with hardship, but because of the moral courage she possessed, she never feared coping with difficulties. Instead, this enhanced her endurance to elevate her soul. Because of her stand, the Husseini revolution has lived in the memories and hearts of millions to this day, has kept the sacrifice of Imam Hussein alive and brought dynamism to every movement that is aimed at removing injustice on earth. Due to the powerful stand Sayyidah Zainab took, these words will never be forgotten. I express my complaint only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have trust in him. You may therefore do any treachery that you have, make all your attempts and try all you can. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you cannot remove us from the minds of people and you cannot fade our message. You will never reach our glory and you can never wash the stain of this crime from your hands. Your decisions will not be stable, your period of ruling will be short and your population will scatter. And that day, a voice that shouts, Indeed, may the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the oppressors. With these words of Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam, we end up our episode. Stay tuned, dear brothers and sisters, for more morals. And don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Imam al-Mahdi. May Allah hasten his reappearance. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.